oh my god, we have success. I can't even believe it. I've been fumbling around with this camera in this computer for like, I swear to God, two days. Not really. Just a little while. I kept saying that I wasn't able to record and I'm actually recording now. And I actually just filmed a video on my flip because I wasn't, you know, able to rely on this computer. But now we're working and we're up and running. Happy 4th of July. Hopefully everybody had an enjoyable day yesterday. I sure as hell did. Hung out on the beach all day long, drank an overabundance of rosé champagne. Oh, hurting my head today. If you want to get loaded, drink champagne all day. I went to yoga, just got back a little while ago, had to sweat it out, had to feel a little healthy today and snap out of it. But really, I uh, had an unbelievable time with my friends, hung out on the beach all day long, uh, played frisbee, laid in the sun. It was just unbelievably gorgeous out. Ate barbecue chicken, macaroni and cheese, cake. I actually baked a cake for the 4th of July, a yellow cake, an all-American yellow cake with chocolate frosting from my Better Homes and Gardens cookbook, Trusty Land. And by the way, if you make that cake out of there, it's just the yellow cake, don't make it with the chocolate butter frosting. It needs to be fudgier. I made it with the chocolate butter frosting. I'd never made this cake before. And it needed the, the frosting needed to be a little bit richer and thicker. This one was just too light. That was my mistake, but it was still tasty and everybody loved it. Anyway, I wanted to say happy 4th, but I also want to talk about swimsuits because all you guys do is ask about what swimsuits I'm wearing for the season. I, I think I did, might have done a blog before last year, yeah, about the swimsuits I was wearing. I have an overload of swimsuits, you guys. I have so many swimsuits, my swimsuit collection is like skyrocketing, but I truly, I wear them all the time. I wear them at the beach. Um, I wear them to shoot that uh, get out show, so I'm like working in them all the time. So let me just grab them. I have them all set up, but let me grab them for you. Ay, 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 ay. Okay, I always love um, Vicks swimsuits. I have a lot of Vicks swimsuits. They're just so trusty. This brand is unbelievable. Like how cute is this one? Doop de doo with the little fringe all over the place. I haven't gotten a chance to wear this one yet. Hopefully I'll wear it soon. But it's, you know, just your classic white with the ruching in the back. That ruching in the back that everybody's doing on their swimsuits is like totally attractive for the ass, I'm telling you. And you know what I do? I don't have, and I've talked about this before, the skinniest ass in the world. That's just for sure. But really, the higher the cut, Brazilian and kind of less coverage, the better your ass looks. Otherwise, it's covering an ass and your ass looks bigger. Trust me. Another VIX, I think I, up, I, I have this, I can't speak. I have this one also in some kind of an animal print this year because I love the style so much. And the little fringe creates an illusion of bigger breasts, of course. Any kind of more uh, material up there always makes them look bigger. I like that. I like big boobs. Anyway, so then this one, animal print, python, can't get enough animal print, love it on my skin, Arr, animal girl. Anyway, the bottoms have that same old ruching. I get my Vicks swimsuits and a lot of my swimsuits in general from Diane's Swimwear. She has so many shops all over California. Holy God, and so many brands, it's unbelievable. Um, but Vicks, you can find like at any department store. I think Vicks is like everywhere. I was able to find them uh, at probably that, um, every whatever, uh, everything but water store. Is that, yeah, I think maybe they have them there as well. But I'll send you guys and give you and provide you with all the websites. Anyway, really pumped about this new swimsuit uh, company that I'd never heard of before. It's called Tavik, and I'm sure maybe you guys have heard of it. How freaking awesome are these bottoms? They're totally sassy and 80s looking because they are inspired. This is a really skimpy top. Um, inspired by, uh, this one is called Scratched, and it was um, inspired by Saved by the Bell, 80s land, baby. I think this is called the Slater Top, and this one is the Morris Bottom. How wacky tacky, love it. Wore that on Get Out, and so did I wore the Python thing on Get Out too, just this last season. Um, okay, this one also is Tavik. Let me show you what it looks like. That's the Tavik brand. Anyway, uh, Tavik Yum. This is called like the Faded Faux Denim. This is the one that I wore all day yesterday on the beach. Um, faded Faux Denim inspired the, by the band Poison. I think that the bottoms are called the Brett Bottoms and this is the Eddie Top or something like that or maybe it's backwards, I don't know. Anyway, love it, totally cute. It has the ruching on the back as well. Tavik, um, I ended up getting mine at Ava and Illyria, this adorable little boutique shop on Manhattan Avenue here in Manhattan Beach. But they do have a website, TavikSwimwear.com. They have all their styles and I'm pretty sure you can probably order or find out where you can get the swimsuits from on their website. Anyway, hopefully everybody enjoyed their day yesterday. It's the 4th, I can't even believe it's the 4th of July. It's so wild. I feel like the summer's just like flashing before my very eyes. Okay, so that's that. Um, what else did I want to tell you guys? Um, I guess nada else. Have a nice day. Enjoy 5th of July. I can't find the end button. Okay. Mwah.